Good morning, I'm Chrissy from Up the Windy Lane and it is really cold outside and it's still snowy outside. So we're gonna do a recipe. That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you a ranch mix recipe. That is my favorite mix. Um, I have tried others in the past and they just didn't give it that good ranch flavor. This is just like the packets that you would buy. So it is really, really tasty and the benefit of actually having real ingredients in it. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is, of course, assemble all your ingredients. I am missing uh, dried onion flakes, but I'm not going to worry about it because I have onion powder, so it's okay. That is one of the ingredients anyways, but the onion flakes, it'll be okay. I don't need those. I didn't have any dehydrated or uh, freeze dried this time, so that is what I'm going to have to use. I am using some of my buttermilk that I freeze dry, so we're going to try that in this one, but other than that, most of my spices and things come from as you as your standard uh this is i have a whole thing of this chives i didn't have chives or paying attention that i had chives i grow chives and could do these myself so i'm trying to go through all the ones that i have purchased so this recipe is super simple we're just going to measure out everything put it in the jar shake it up a little bit and this will last for quite some time unless you use a lot of um, dip and things but I add it to, instead of sour cream, which you could totally do, I add it to my uh, whole Greek yogurt. And it's just a plain yogurt. And I will mix it in with a cup of that. Or you can do a half cup, whatever you want to do. Cup, maybe if you're doing it for like more than you. Now, I will sometimes use a half a cup and mix in the ranch powder and use it for like a dip for vegetables. So I'm getting to dip my vegetables, but I'm also getting that protein as well. So it's really good, really good for you. And uh, you don't have to worry about any added ingredient. I started making my own mixes and such back a long time ago because budget wise. So uh, we have almost always been a one income family because we have, we have four kids that I stayed home with and we homeschooled. So I didn't work outside the home until just in the last like three years. So it was more of saving money, making my own stuff, saving money. And then as I was going through, uh, I had my gallbladder removed. I uh, was diagnosed with IBS and then I started having diverticulitis flare ups. So it really led me to pay attention to what was in our food and to make sure that I'm buying the best food possible and the healthiest food possible. So that's what kind of led me to staying, even though maybe, you know, we make more now and I can afford to buy other mixes and things. I really don't want to, but in case you guys haven't noticed, <laughs> food is going up a lot. So stuff is really expensive. So if you can make stuff yourself, it is so much easier. And like right now it's snowy. I don't want to go to town. So if I can make something that I need and I don't have to go to town, that is just an added bonus. So no matter what your reasoning, you know, if, if you want to save money, if it's because of the ingredients, mine's both now, the ingredients and saving money. So this is for you. So I have a guide below if you want to check it out. There's a free one that has tips in it for helping you navigate through this diverticulitis if you have issues with that. I pay attention to that constantly because it's always there. Like it's always, those pockets are always there and I really have to pay attention and keep my digestion flowing like it's supposed to or have issues. My system is super sensitive like you've heard me say before. So this is really important to me, eating as healthy as I can. And so I wanted to put together a guide for you guys and I'm offering it to you now. It is in the link below, so be sure to check it out. It's called Gut It Together. And it's just a lot of my tips and things and recipes for getting you started on swaps. There's some food diaries and things like that that can help you out and kind of help you navigate through um, this sometimes difficult to know what to do because there's so much information out there. But this is something that I live with every day. Um, it's something that I pay attention to. So, and I know it is not a fun thing to deal with. So be sure to check it out in the link below. So this is what is left of my ranch powder. I usually just kind of mix it up. I leave a spoon in here because that just makes it easier. But I usually just kind of make, mix it up a little bit. It even, and it just, I wish you could smell it. It smells just like the packets. So I am just going to add my next one right in here because this will make approximately two cups. So I do put it in this bigger jar 
only because uh, it leaves me plenty of room to mix it up. Now, when you make this, three tablespoons of this mix equals about one packet. You can add this, of course, to sour cream. You can add this to yogurt, like I said. You can make a ranch dressing by adding uh, one tablespoon of this powder with about a third cup of mayo and a third cup of milk. So lots of different things you can do with this. So this is really simple because you basically are using a quarter cup and a tablespoon, basically. All right, so I have a ton of parsley flakes. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought a pound of parsley, but this is how big of a bag. Instead of like a tiny little bag, yeah. You know, because parsley, what was I thinking? It's like super light. So we just need a, well, actually we need three fourths cup of parsley. So we're gonna do three of these, those in there. You always wanna make sure that you can, like your, um, if you have herbs like this and you're having to have them for a little bit, you just wanna make sure they still smell like what they're supposed to smell like and that means they're still okay. You know, make sure they don't look funny and all that stuff. Okay, this chives, because I have a lot of these. So we're gonna put a quarter cup of chives in here. I'm telling you guys, this is so simple, so simple. All right, next on the list is dill. Now I did put my dill in here, which I'm not really sure why I bought dill, because I have a ton of dill growing out. But that was before I ended up having a ton. So we're gonna use a quarter cup of dill, put that in there. I keep having to shoo the dogs out of here driving me crazy all right next is onion powder now remember i'm not going to be using the onion flakes so that's about a quarter cup out i am going to put in some extra onion powder though so i'll probably just double this and that will be a nice oniony flavor And then we go to garlic powder, Maybe a quarter cup garlic powder. It smells so good. All right. And then we're gonna skip the onion flakes. We're done with that. Oh no, we're not done with that yet. We're gonna go with pepper. I buy all my spices now in bulk from is your standard azure however you want to say that so we're going to do two tablespoons of black pepper okay, i need to leave that that's the wrong lid i need to leave that out i need to refill, refill my pepper shaker and salt now i normally buy salt from redmond salt but i'm out and i had pink himalayan salt hanging around so i'm trying to use that up so we're going to use two tablespoons of pink Himalayan salt. All right, so the last one is buttermilk powder. So this is my buttermilk powder that I freeze dry. Now you can buy, if you have dry milk powder, you could use that too. It's just not gonna give the exact same flavor, but um, I think it will work. Uh, you can buy this, of course you can buy dry milk from like Kroger, um, but I do like to buy buttermilk powder from Azure Standard. Uh, that is the last time that I bought any, but then I have this, so I can, all right, so we're going to add a cup of this. Might get me a spoon. All right, need to break this up a little bit. I really packed it in there, which is good. I'm going to try to keep all the air out as much as possible anyways, when we're freeze drying and storing. Okay, so this is taking up a lot more room than what I thought it was going to. Oh, I didn't take into consideration... The buttermilk powder, that's what it was. Okay. I think this is four. I kind of lost count. Okay. So, not going to have... Oh, there we go. Let's see, I'm not going to have enough room to um, mix this. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit with my spoon. It's actually really pretty. You could give it as a gift and leave it layered. And then uh, tell them you know, to mix it up before they use it. Okay, so now we have a little bit of room, and this will help a little bit. I can always mix it up. Get some shakes, little twists. 
You can create a nice little label and put on it other than the one I have, which is kind of wearing off a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. So there you have it. Some homemade ranch powder that will last for quite some time. I haven't made this in a while, so this is going to last me for quite a while. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video hanging out with me in my kitchen, making this really, really quick homemade ranch mix. So be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to be lovely lights today.